Gibraltar. 254 years ago, the rock became British. A treaty signed then stated that the Union Jack was to fly over these shores for all time. So naturally, the people of Gibraltar have very strong views on Spain's demand that Jib become Spanish territory. To demonstrate their feelings, they smothered their homeland in a mass of red, white and blue, adapted Churchill's bulldog breed slogans, and set out en masse for the polling stations to let the world know that they were proud to be British and nothing was going to change that. So on Sunday, September 10th, 1967, Gibraltarians let loose with one of the warmest, most emotional pro-British demonstrations the world has known for many years. The population of this land, which has played such a key role in both world wars, was making news once more on an international scale by proving its unswerving loyalty to the crown. It was like a marvellous, wildly happy carnival. Anybody doubt how 75-year-old Mrs. Victoria Olivero felt as she went to join the enormous queues waiting to vote? He's hardly a bulldog, but it was the bulldog spirit which fired the enthusiasm for all but 44 of those that went to the polls. With the overwhelming majority, including the aged and infirm, it was B for Britain Day. Four official observers from New Zealand, Kenya, Jamaica and Pakistan stood by to see fair play as 95.8% of the electorate registered their vote. Sir Joshua Hassan, Gibraltar's chief minister, arrived to cast his vote on the referendum. Hours before the final vote was cast and the ballot boxes emptied, the people of the rock knew in their hearts what the result would be. From the youngest to the oldest, it was a time for celebration. And when at last those heavy boxes crammed with thousands of stay British votes were taken away for counting, it was truly a very happy time for all Gibraltar. As the job of counting the ballots began, it was clear that in terms of a solution to the Gibraltar dispute with Spain, the result would mean very little. But it meant a great deal to the people. It showed that their loyalty and love for Britain was stronger than anything that could happen in the future. And so they waited, passionately happy for the result. And there was the result, a resounding yes in favour of staying with Britain. Of 12,182 votes cast, only 44 were against Britain. Who was it who said, as solid as the rock? 